top five in the nation more walks and strikeouts. First pitch just low. Let's take a look at today's batting order for the Tennessee Volunteers fourth in the nation in home runs. Past Williams at short it's Trey Faltini. To 92 but typically outstanding command. Well hit left field Eric Kennedy has plenty of space the wind is blowing in to two to Rucker. Sharply hit Faltini's got great range scoop off balance. Mm. Got him. The freshman true freshman has been outstanding and Tico rides it to left. No carry here early on batting order for the Texas Longhorns leading off with Mike Antico and you talk about a guy that can get the party started pitch Cam Williams getting his swing off Ooh. and if you're a ball you like that call if you're a Longhorn maybe not as much you could tell Ben early Tidwell was trying to get that arm side heater missed the first couple times Deep right, ball carrying, Hodo to the fence. Got room indeed. Jordan Beck all the way back to the wall. Peyton the goat is in the house. Yeah, we got out of that one. From that question, Tom. Yeah, I think you should. That's a big word, by the way. That one's dumped into center field by Drew Gilbert, leadoff single. There he goes. Upstairs, ball forward. Tennessee's got a pair on with one out. And he sends a line drive into left. Gilbert will come around to score. Lipsy is headed to third. And Tennessee is struck first with a run scoring double from Jordan Beck. Well, there you go. Tap to the right side. Zubia doesn't have a play. Will only take it to first. And that'll get another run home. Seemed to help Tennessee that Turkey didn't square it up. Yeah, no doubt. I, I think, I, I, again, I think theoretically that makes sense to play your poolside infielder a little deeper. And he looked at strike three. But they made Tristan Stevens work for it. Guys that could really run, but this team could bang it a little bit, too. Lead off walk, Melendez on. Create offense. And now he punches it over the shortstop's head. Melendez will stop at second. This one on Tidwell. 20 second pitch clock. Butt down, backhanded. Athletic Tidwell. Takes care of Faltini. We got warning on balls and strikes coming from the Texas dugout. Nice. Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah, something tells me that was too low barking a little bit. Got him on the edge. Hodo caught looking. That is large right there. And he did it with another breaking ball. So he gave him the fastball 2 2, and it was 98. He missed just down. But like he did three different times, Tidwell in this at bat. Tidwell's 3 2. Well hit deep into the right field corner. Kennedy says goodbye, baseball. Three run home run, Texas. on a couple more not here in the second already a long one and this one shot to left Devin Russell will cover some ground parents unable to make it to the States to watch so they're watching back home as Liam delivers a single up the middle there's ball four create some action Rucker gets the butt down wide of the mound Stevens picks it up and nobody has a play Tennessee has loaded the bases with a single, a walk, and a bunt. Sharply hit the third. Williams will come home for the fourth. Beautiful wow. pickup. Antoine turns two. Come on. What a play, Silas Ardwan. Well, Williams. You know, kind of buckled on the last opportunity, but how about the smooth pick right there on a ball that could have eaten him up, but then Ardwan. Pick it, keep your foot on the base, and then rip it to get the speedy Gilbert. 
And you talk about a momentum builder for the Longhorns. Bases loaded, nobody out, and now you got a chance. Popped up. Hodo and Antico, and this will be the right fielder, Douglas Hodo, to handle it. But he's been kind of pitching to that two-hole here in the postseason. Misses with the fastball leadoff walk from Mike Antico. The second best stolen base guy in Omaha at first for Tennessee defensively. There he goes. Well, it didn't take much time. Pavoloni's throws <laughs> wide, and it gets into center field. Antico on his way to third. Picked 11 for 11. And that ground ball will get him home. Places like in nine days. Swing and a miss for Zubia. Third strikeout for Tidwell. Well, Tidwell's pitched. Well, I mean, well, it's a big time fastball. He's pitched backwards a lot today. This is 3 2 pitch. This one sky high to left. Russell pitch a 10. As long as it's the same for both sides, and there have been some balls off the outside part that we've seen called strikes. We talked about the umpiring a second ago, and that's now a warning for each dugout, just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, and if, so if you're wondering, you get a warning, next time you're gone. There goes the runner. The pitch is lined the opposite way. Beck heads for third. And Tennessee's get to a board with one down. That was some kind of hitting right there. Pete Durkay just stays red hot. And he sends a ground ball through the left side. Pulling back across the plate. Three state base runners for Tennessee all at the bottom of the order. Well, this is where Tennessee can get you. Line drive, knocked to center. Here comes Durkay around third. Antico's throw goes to third. It's a run scoring single for Liam Spence. The third straight hit for Tennessee as the line continues to roll. They have in them to give them the ball in a situation like this. Flag down by Daly to Faltini for one. Back to first. Another killer double play by Texas. If Texas is able to get on, is here we go right here. Let's see if they try to force the issue on the base pass the way that Virginia did to Hunman. There he goes. Great jump, swing and a miss. Throw to second is wide. Another stolen base for Texas. Bullpen. Ball four, it's inside. Four pitch walk, second walk of the frame from Hunley. Oh, we got another warning. Tony Vitello just got thrown out of the game. Somebody from Tennessee got thrown out. It's either Vitello or one of his coaches, and Vitello coming out to plead his case, but it happened from the third base up by Mike Morris. Ross Kibbett is the one pleading his case, and based on Ross's reaction, it was the assistant that got tossed and not the head coach. And Kibbett has exited the dugout and gone back to the clubhouse. This is right in line with the personality of this Tennessee coaching staff in many ways. Yeah, there's no question about it. This is a, a fiery group. Oh. Into right field. Daly will score. Hodo to third. They're going to wave him home. The relay from Ferguson right there. Second safe. And Texas scores two more. Is it 100%? Wow. Into center field. Another hit for Texas. Five or more runs. And here's more. Williams sends it to left. Arguan will score. Third straight hit for Texas as Cam Williams provides an RBI. Runner goes. A stolen base for Cam Williams. Ground ball to short. Liam Spence has it. And that'll finish the frame. Taking your mask off and barking back, right? I mean, let the boys play. Let the coaches coach. If it becomes egregious, I get it. But for me, it was never egregious. Quite been himself. See if he can get off to a good start for Mississippi State. Mitchell Daly with a line drive single. He's reached base all three trips to the plate. But that lineup for Mississippi State. Uh-oh. Got him. 
And Mitchell Daly a race and a pitch off from a pickoff from Redmond Walsh. Uh, you can see that one coming. Redmond Walsh has an outstanding pickoff move. And Texas is still trying to keep later. I thought, well, this is Providence. And he sends one into center. Durkane's got a hit to extend Tennessee sixth. Strike three called. Connor Pavoloni caught looking. Second K for Tanner Witt. First baseman field and try to beat the pitcher to the back. Bunt was foul, so he sends the soft line drive into right. Well, he's been the star today. There's no two ways around it. Chopped off the plate. Walsh will float it over to first. Mm. Yes, he did. Oh, back oh, behind the runner. It's a move. stolen base for Kennedy. Set him up that time, Berkey. Yes, he did. Got away from Pavoloni. Here comes Kennedy. 8 4 Texas. And you wonder, did the bat hanging out there distract Pavoloni enough where he doesn't block? Mask. Ball four. Hey, man, how's the family doing? How's everybody doing? Into right, Beck comes in for it. Spence pops it up on the second pitch. Odo's got it. And Rucker drives one into center field, but the park playing big today. And Tico puts it away. Ball four. Melendez reaches with one out. There's an awfully high ceiling for this young man. That one handcuffed Pavoloni got to the backstop. Melendez takes second. Swing and a miss for Feltini. And we go to the eighth. Into center, and Tico can settle. Here, it's a good chance your offense is going to struggle. That's why the teams that can do a little bit of everything are the teams that you see advance. Spence got him. Very low stress since he got off the field in his first inning of work to build a lineup around moving forward. Tap to the left side. Williams gathers. And late, Tennessee's got a base runner to start the ninth. Durkay serves it to left field. Kennedy has plenty of space. And there's a long first out. And Tico will move a few strides. And Texas is an out away from Ardoin. To third. Easy way to second. It'll end Tennessee's season. And Texas lives to play another day.